How often do you find yourself having to manually install new software on a computer at your company? Do you find yourself having to install certain applications on multiple computers? Using System Center Essentials 2007, Microsoft's integrated IT management solution for mid-sized businesses, you can quickly and automatically deploy critical applications to multiple computers at once. First, launch the System Center Essentials Management Console by going to Start, and then System Center Essentials. In the main Essentials Overview console, click on Software in the lower left-hand pane to navigate to the Software Management space. In the Software space of the Essentials Management console, under Actions, click on Create and Deploy a New Software Package to launch the New Software Package Wizard. Using the New Software Package Wizard, you can deploy both EXE and MSI-based installation packages to manage computers in your IT environment. EXE-based files are quite simply executable files, whereas MSI-based installation files are Microsoft software installation files. Let's say you need to install Windows Defender on multiple computers in your finance department to protect them from spyware. Click on Browse and navigate to the location where you downloaded the Windows Defender setup file. Select this file and then click Open. Since this setup file is MSI based, it will automatically know to include all files and subfolders needed for installation. So deselect the Include All Files and Subfolders in this location box, which is the default option for supporting EXE based setup files. In the Package Description field, type a user-friendly name to identify the purpose of this software to end users, and then click Next. On the second page of the wizard, you can define installation parameters for the package. In this case, since this is a Windows installation package, we will leave the default selection of No to make this a silent installation, which requires no end-user interaction to install and then click Next. On this next screen, I'm provided a summary of all the parameters and information I've set for my Windows Defender installation package. I'm now ready to create the package, so I click on Create. Essentials will now create the package by compressing files, making sure that appropriate certificates secure it and then publish it to the Essentials server. Once the package has been successfully created, click Finish to continue. Next, select the groups or computers to which you want to deploy Windows Defender. You can either use existing groups of computers you've created in Essentials, or create a new group on the fly, to which you can assign managed computers. In this case, you're going to deploy the software to computers in the Finance Department, because they don't currently have any anti-spyware. Next, click Set Deadline and select a date and time to send the installation package to install Windows Defender on the computers in your finance department. Alternatively, you could also select a checkbox to simply have this application made available in Add Remove Programs on the computers in the finance department. This would allow end users to install the software when they want. Click OK to apply the deadline you have set. Once the approval has been successfully completed, click Close. To check on the status of the Windows Defender software deployment, I can select the software package and then click on the Deployment Status Report option in the right-hand pane. This will give me the current status of deployment to the targeted computers. To discover more ways Microsoft can help you save time and get more done, contact your Microsoft Certified Partner.